Hi friends! I'm back. As you can see from my Seattle vlog, I dyed my hair. Which is like a little bit of a shock because like it is really dark compared to what I had before. And it's grown, which is like... Also, I'm sorry if I'm like kind of awkward. I'm like not even like fully sitting on my bed. But it's because I realized in my last videos that I filmed in this room in Toronto. It was like really awkward. My like knee was up here and my foot was there and that's like... Ugh. Anyway, I thought that today I would do a Europe vlog. Um, I was in Europe, um, I went to a ton of countries, like kind of north and a little bit east. As I go through it, it's not going to be like chronologically through the trip. Just whatever I see first, I'm going to pick up. All my stuff is just in a pile because I've been unpacking. Yeah, I know what you're all going to already say. Wow, Josephine, you're really, like so tan. And I'm like... <laughs> Thank you so much. So let's just jump into it. I didn't brush my hair, I just realized that. The first thing I'm seeing here is a book because, as you all know, with my ever going series book review. <laughs> I'm so sorry for my editing so far. I've been watching way too much of Antonio Garza, who's a hilarious YouTuber. Their editing is so funny. That's why I've been doing the thing um, for my peace sign because I've also realized that I've been doing the peace sign way too much. I picked up a book in Amsterdam at Anne Frank's house. I definitely think that it's an important thing to go see. You have to buy tickets online though and like two months in advance. Don't be that person that shows up to Anne Frank's house and is like, where can I buy tickets? And then you're not able to go. It's called The Last Seven Months of Anne Frank and then this is Stories of Six Women Who Knew Anne Frank. This is kind of like a follow-up to Anne Frank's diary but it's not written by her obviously because she had to leave her diary in um, Amsterdam but it's six interviews with women who knew Anne Frank um, in the different camps that she had gone to after she was arrested. It's really hard to read. Anne Frank's diary, everyone should read that anyway, but this is a really interesting add-on to like her story after because you get these glimpses into her last seven months of her life and it's it's just important to read. The next thing I see is this glasses case. <laughs> Did I do an ASMR European haul? Next, I go. No, I can't. It's from the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam, which was also amazing. And also you have to buy tickets online. It's one of his paintings. It's really pretty. And it's because I got um, new glasses. The case that they gave me with the glasses is like trash and like broke in like a month. I had to get a higher prescription because I'm blinder than I thought. Uh, but yeah, these are my new glasses. I got these in Vancouver. So next things are... Wow, really good clip of you wearing your glasses for five seconds, Josephine. We really have enough time to see what you look like with them on. Pictures or like prints, I guess, of things that have just really stood out to me. No, nope, that's not mine. One of the prints that I got was from the Van Gogh Museum actually as well. Just because I really like Vincent Van Gogh. I think his story is absolutely incredible, but also just super interesting. I got this print of um, his Japanese art because um, something I didn't know about Van Gogh was he was really at one point influenced by Japan's art and style. This is his own version of Japanese art. It's really cool. And I, like if you don't know this about me, I absolutely love Japanese art and culture and style. So I, when I saw that he was inspired by Japanese art, I was like, that's really cool. I can't find the other print that we got in Krakow. Um, it's of this uh, Leonardo da Vinci painting, which was really, really cool to see. I'm just gonna put the photo here. Um, the painting itself has like a lot of history. I'm not gonna go into it, but like not even just the person who's painted in it, but like how it went around, like, during the wars and all that stuff is really interesting. So I just realized that most of the stuff I'm gonna show you is from Amsterdam. We didn't shop that much towards the end. T-shirt by Scotch and Soda, I believe. It has the cat Felix, which I don't know if you ever read this when you were younger. It's kind of like a comic series in when I was growing up. Blah means blue in Dutch. And I forget why he said the like worker at Scotch and Soda said that it says blue. I just really liked it. It fits really well. The next thing I got was in Bruges in um, Belgium. And it's something that I got for my apartment and like slash kind of for my roomies too, but like for me to use as well. And it's these coasters made of cork and it says funny like beer puns. They're in French. One says une bière par jour, la santé toujours, which means like, like a beer a day will always give you health. That one obviously doesn't rhyme. The point why I got like a beer themed one was because Avery and Alyssa, my roommates, would prefer wine over beer, but like I take beer over one like any day. I don't know. Um, the next thing I got was at the Toronto Pearson Airport on my way to um, our first stop 
because I have always wanted a neck pillow because I can never sleep on a plane. So I was like, you know what, I'll get a Canada neck pillow. It's really comfy, it's just like squishy. Um, I don't know why I'm telling you how I sleep on planes, but yeah, that's how I sleep on planes. The next thing I guess less exciting, I got a new carry-on and it's from United Colors of Bedenton, which is I think a British brand. Don't quote me on that though. And I actually got this in Rome. We had to connect through Rome to go back to Toronto. We spent five hours in the airport, like we didn't actually go to Rome. It's just like a navy blue and it has like some neon accents to it next thing i got was in oh, i got this in budapest and it's a fan because europe was so hot like so hot like it was like 30 to 35 degrees like every day almost no breeze like, we were literally going into like all these tourist shops just to find a fan but then i found a fan it's horrifyingly ugly but it really did the job it like saved my butt the next thing i got in rome too from united colored of Bedentons was just some socks got like white gray and black ones the next thing i got from amsterdam was a bamboo toothbrush because we went to this sustainable clothing store y'all should be using bamboo toothbrushes because plastic toothbrushes are really 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 bad for the environment it's from the company uh the bamboo brush society don't do not buy a bamboo toothbrush from The Giving Brush. It's like an online store. I bought one and it was cool because it was like multicolored, like the bristles. And it gave me like, <sighs> my mom is like always telling me like you should have kept it, took me pictures, like you definitely would have gotten like money off of that. And like if I sued them, it gave me the worst mouth rash I've ever gotten in my life. Like the all of the inside of my lips were bleeding. They were raw. It was like Painful like literally like all of the skin on the inside of my lips is new skin It was whack like it hurt so much I literally couldn't drink anything without it like stinging any food I couldn't have like vinaigrettes whatever like it was so painful So don't buy from the giving brush um, and then from the same company I got this really amazing sweater which was on sale and I was like how it was like 50% off and it's my size and everything the company is called friday's project and it's this like white table knit sweater and it has kind of flared out sleeves like they're bigger they don't cinch um and it's gray and white and it's cut here but then it's also reversible or you could wear it with that in the back but there's like a little like keyhole here so if you're wearing like a little cute little top and there's still like the collar here but the next thing i got is in this thing and it's from the bruges museum and it's a little christmas tree decoration it's this little creature here and it's from a bosch painting bosch is known for creating these like really interesting creatures that are like it's just like his own imagination of like some of the archetypes or the extremes of like humans or whatever i just think that his creatures are just so cool yeah i know i have to do my nails i'm literally getting them done today it's taken me so long to edit this video that now my nails that I got done that day are growing out as well. So I got my two roommates shot glasses. I got this one um, for Avery and it's, it says Germany and it has like a bunch of the flags of like the different cities and counties and whatever. Avery by descendants is German but also she is learning German and taking German in university and also she spent like a month, correct me if I'm wrong Avery, like a month, two months? Four months? I don't know. It was like a long time in Germany. So I thought that this would be cool. In Belgium, I, we, my mom and I did a Flanders Field tour, which was absolutely amazing. As you all know, like I'm a history major. The Canadians had a huge part in World War One, especially in Passchendaele. I got a t-shirt and it says 1914 to 1918. It's kind of big, but I'm going to cut it a little bit just so that it fits me a little bit better. <laughs> face is actually the face of the brooding soldier which is the canadian memorial in flanders field a huge part of them i'm so sorry <laughs> my um allergies are flaring up now that i'm back in toronto because like i guess the pollen levels are a lot higher you can literally see like how red my nose is because i keep like doing that so yeah sorry about that Next thing I got is in this, and um, it's a gift that my mom wants to give my roommate, so I'm not going to take it out, but it's a bathroom towel. So once I'm in Montreal, I'll take a clip of what it looks like on our bathroom floor. Um, we got this in Gaunt. Why does it look like I'm crying? We didn't end up using it for our bathroom. We ended up using it for our entryway, so... <laughs> was for my stepbrother and we got this in Budapest it's this little bottle of Hungarian palinka which is like 
their own liquor that they make and it's plum which i thought was like a really interesting flavor i, know, I just thought it was really interesting but it's also a really pretty bottle it has the one of the bridges in budapest that's like really pretty because it has like lions in the front we didn't taste it so honestly i cannot tell you if it's good or not the next thing i got was in a thrift store in i'm gonna say amsterdam and it's these really cute pants they look like this there's kind of straight legs they have these two little pockets at the front but the pattern is little white flowers next thing we got in amsterdam as well <laughs> my mom got this for my apartment it's a little tea towel and it's black and white but it has little bikes on it which is cute because it's like amsterdam because of the bikes but it doesn't like scream that we got in amsterdam either like, next i got um these shorts from gone they're from this company called sissy boy <laughs> they're really cute they're like a really nice fabric and it has some pockets at the front but then it has like fake pockets at the back which is kind of annoying but from the same store i got this green t-shirt it says simplicité which means like simplicity in french the next thing i got was in oh god this is in amsterdam too wasn't it this is in amsterdam too it's this romper it's striped white and maroon this little thing is to like put on your waist there's also these little pockets the last piece of clothing i got was from bruges i've been wanting pants like this for so long gray kind of gingham is that what people are calling them what i love about these is that they have like a black stripe in the middle similar to what i got for avery i got one for Alyssa, and this one's from dubrovnik because she went to dubrovnik last summer so i was like okay i have to get her something from croatia just because she loved it so i got her this shot glass but it's a mug Alyssa is like the biggest coffee fiend and it just has a really pretty painting style of image on it of the dubrovnik like walls and stuff like that and then last but not least in dubrovnik they have one of the oldest pharmacies i think in probably europe that's still running like to this day in the original like cloister they still make a bunch of like the lotions and stuff like that the franciscan monks made they also have all these like tonics for your face i got one of them and it comes in this really pretty bag that has like the picture of like the old pharmacy on it and it's this like really pretty bottle with like a franciscan monk on it the name of the pharmacy and then aqua rosae means rose water in latin rose water is known for being good for skin so that's it for my haul from europe i hope you enjoyed it i'm so sorry i've been playing with my hair i have my fan on so my hair keeps going in my face and also my allergies are really making my nose itch so i'm sorry that, that i was scratching my nose a lot i hope that you all enjoyed my european haul i'm really happy with everything that i got and i'm super grateful the fact that not only was i able to travel to all these places but i was also able to like buy things there that would make me remember them don't forget to follow me on all my social media sites especially instagram because i posted a bunch of pictures from my trip there and i also have these little highlights on my page that you can see what i did in all those different countries they organize them so you guys can click on the little flag ones and watch them thanks so much for watching as always and i'll see you in my next one bye friends